You go, bud. Thank you.
Would you like to uh, have a sandwich or anything? You sure? Okay. If you want something, just let somebody know. Okay.
Okay. Need anything? Need to go to the bathroom? Mm-mm. You got your soda? Mm-hmm. Want something to eat? For sure? I ain't hungry. No? Anything at all? Mm-mm. You alright? Okay.
Hey, Brendan, you need to do the bathroom or anything? You sure? You need anything else? Mm -mm. Sandwich or anything? Did you get your soda? Yeah. Okay. We'll be in about two minutes, okay? I had a question. Though. Sure. How long is this going to take? It shouldn't take a whole lot longer. Do you think I can get there before 129? Um, probably not. Uh, What's that 129? Well, I had a project to 160. Okay. We'll worry about that later, okay? All right. I'll be back in a few minutes, okay? Okay. So, do you need to use a bathroom or anything? No, you're good? Okay. How are you feeling, Brendan? Pretty good. Pretty good. Got a lot of stuff off your chest, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, a lot more stuff, a lot of the truth. Uh, what we do when, when we leave the room, we kind of talk about stuff to make sure that we think we're, we're all on the same page and that, that we're getting the, you know, the truth, the whole truth. And, and we, you know, we think you're doing pretty good so far, but there's some areas that we have to revisit, okay? And then some other questions. And, and again, don't make us work so hard for this. Don't make yourself work so hard for it. Let's just get the truth out right away, because again, we, we have a pretty good knowledge of what happened there. 
all right? Mm -hmm. I want to revisit when you went, when you got home from school, okay? You were with Blaine, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. And you said you walked down the, you know, the road to your house. And you said that you saw Stephen on the porch. Uh -huh. Mark and I have a problem with that. Now, it, I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm going to put words in your mouth. We have a problem with that. You know, Blaine not seeing it and stuff like that and, and the time period because it's a quarter to four. And, and we're real familiar with time periods here and when she got there and stuff. Is there something you need to tell us about that? When you got home, what did you see before you went into your house? Did you even go in your house? Or did you go over to Stevens? You know, talk, talk to us about what happened there, because the time periods aren't adding up, bud. Well, I don't know if I had seen it, but I never asked him about it. So I don't know if he's seen it or not. Again, I, I, whether Blaine saw it or not, the time periods aren't adding up. They're not equal enough. We know when Teresa got there. Um, I know, I guarantee you, Teresa's not standing on that porch when you come home from school. I, just, I don't see that. <coughs> um, I don't, you know, I have a problem with the car sitting out front yet at this time either. That car sitting out front, other people are, would have seen that car, you know. Something's not adding up here, and you need to tell us the truth. Did this all start right when you came home from school? You need to tell me. You need to be honest with me. I can't tell you. I, I can't tell you these things. I can tell you we don't believe you because there's some things that are wrong, but you've got to tell me the truth. This is, you know, we're getting serious here now, okay? Tell me what happened when you got home. I got off the bus. I walked on the road. And we got to that thing, uh, the other house that's just sitting there for now. I could see her Jeep in the garage. Just sitting there, and I didn't see Stephen and her on the porch. You, you did or you didn't? I didn't. Did not. Okay. And I just walked up to the house. To whose house? Mine and Blaine's. Went into the garage to get the key to open the door. Because we always lock it when we leave. And we went in and Blaine grabbed the phone right away and I waited for like 30 minutes to wait for him to get off the phone with Jason so I can call Travis, see what he was doing that night. And I waited so I watched TV. And that's when I went up to get the mail. Okay. So I'm going to take you through this now that you've said it. You got off the bus, came down the road. You said you saw Teresa's vehicle in Stephen's garage. Uh -huh. How did you see that? With the front end of the, the door. With what? The front end was out of the door. The front end was out of the door. So the big door was open, I take it? Yeah. Okay. And you did not see Teresa or Stephen? Oh. Okay. And then you said you went into your house. Uh-huh. You, did you go over to Stephen's at that time? No. And you went over to your house, and it, the way you were telling me, you're about 20 minutes, half hour, you had to wait because Blaine used the yeah. phone? And so then you went down and got the mail? Yeah. So you're in your house for about a 20 minutes, half hour? Yeah. And you went down to get the mail? Well, I called Travis first. 
You called Travis first. Okay, how long did you talk to Travis? Oh, 10, 15 minutes. And after you're done talking to Travis, what did you do? Went up to go get the mail. And did you take a bike, like you said? Yeah. And then you're coming back from the mail? Is, is that when you tell me what happened then again? That's when I went to get the mail and I came back. I was looking at it when I was riding the bike. I seen Steven's mail in there and I went over by him and I knocked on the door. Okay, and you heard stuff coming from there? Uh huh. Again, what did you hear coming from there? Screaming like, help me in that. Okay. And then you said before, you knocked on his door. Uh huh. And you said you had to knock Three times. Three times, and it took how long for Stephen to get to the door about? Oh, five minutes. About five minutes. While you were standing at the door, did you continue to hear things coming from the inside? Yeah. Stephen came to the door and took you into the kitchen, you said, right? Yeah. Okay. About what time do you think this is? Thinking back now on your time periods, when you got home, how long it took for these phone calls and stuff. Oh, five, five thirty. Okay. When you knock, when you actually knocked on Stephen's door, was the big garage door still open? Do you remember? No. You don't remember, or it wasn't open. I don't remember. Okay. Was Teresa Hallbach's vehicle sitting out in the driveway when you knocked on the door? No. Okay. So that's a little different than what you initially told us, is that right? Yeah. All right. Do you... Do you remember Stephen making any phone calls or getting any phone calls during this evening? During that evening? Like one or two of them. He made or he got? He got. Who were they from? Jody. Okay. What, can you tell me what the context, your side of the conversation was? What did you hear? He was like saying that he cares about her and that. So you said maybe a couple phone calls. When did the first call happen about? Oh, 5.35. About 5, 5.30, is that what you're saying? And what phone did he take that call on? His cell phone. Okay. And then when did the second call happen? About 10 minutes after that. Okay, and who was that call from, do you think? Jody again. I think so, okay. Do you recall if um, Steve called anyone? Mm -hmm. Okay. We talked last, or Monday, we talked a little about some things, a burn barrel out front. Do you remember anything about that burn barrel that uh, you might want to be a little more truthful about now? That was full of stuff. Was it burning? Yeah. Did you put some things in that burn barrel that night? No. What happened to Teresa's other personal effects? I mean, a, a woman usually has a purse, right? Tell us what happened to that. I don't know what happened to it. What happened to her, uh, her cell phone?
Don't try to, to, to think of something. Just... I don't know. Did Steven, did you see whether a uh, cell phone of hers? No. Do you know whether she had a camera? No. Did Steven tell you what he did with those things? No. Did you tell us the truth? Yeah. What did he do with her, her possessions? I don't know. Brendan, it's okay to tell us, okay? It's really important that you continue being honest with us. Okay, don't start lying now. If you know what happened to a cell phone or a camera or her purse, you need to tell us, okay? The hard part's over. Do you know what happened to those items? You burned them. How do you know? Because when I passed it, there was like, like a person there and stuff. When you passed what? The brain barrel. Did you look inside? Why did you look inside? Because it was full. What else was in there? Like garbage bags, some. Did you put those things in the burn barrel? No. Did you actually see those items in the burn barrel? Yeah. Tell me what you saw in there, exactly. Like they're buried underneath a garbage garbage bag that was... How do you know, how could you see them if they were underneath a garbage bag? Because the garbage bag was like on top, like that far off the top. Okay, so we have the barrel. Okay, why don't you look at me for a second. Okay, you got the barrel. Mm -hmm. Okay, and here's the top of the barrel. And the garbage bag is on top. Yeah. And where are those items you said you saw? Like right yeah. underneath it. Underneath the bag? Yeah. Well, how would you see that? Well, if the bag's like that far off the, you know, the top of the thing, you can see through underneath it. You could see underneath it? What did you see? Like a cell phone, camera, purse. Are you being honest with us? Yeah. Did you actually see those items? Yeah. When did you see them? When I came over there with the mail. Before you went into the house or after you went into the house? Before I went into the house. Why did you look in there? Because it was full. And it usually ain't. Okay. Did you see Stephen? When you came home from school, or at any time up until the point you went to into Stephen's house, did you see him go to the burning barrel with anything? No. Are you sure? Yeah. After you went in the house, did Stephen go to the burning barrel at any time? Not that I know. <clears throat> We got some other points that we're going to talk about here. You go there, you get into Stephen's house. Now, I don't want you to hold back any language or how he told you anything or how he presented himself to you when this stuff happened. When he took you into the kitchen, just kind of tell me what he told you again and how he told you. He asked me if I wanted to fuck the girl and if I wanted to try it. I said that I ain't old enough that to have a kid yet, so he said, yeah, do you want to try it though? I'm like, not right now. He just kept on egging me on. Okay, and, and, and did he say anything else to you when he was egging you on? How did he egg you on? He's like, come on, try it for me. And had you been back in the bedroom area yet at this time or no? No. What, what, 
Tell me again what he told you was back there. Who or what? <coughs> that Teresa Halbach was back there. That she was on the bed naked with... She was chained up to the bed. Could you hear her back there yet? Yeah. And what kind of things was she saying again? Like, help me and... Not to tell Stephen not to do this anymore. Did Stephen say that he had already done that or not? Yeah. What did he say he did to her? That he had sex with her. How did he say it? That he fucked her. At any time that night, did you see Stephen have sex with her? No. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Because we know now that you did and he watched while you did it. Did you watch once or while he did it? No. Did he do anything else to her sexually? No. Stick anything in her, anything like that? No. Okay. Okay. You told us about going in there and having sex with her as she was handcuffed and, and chained, okay? Ultimately, and then you said you left the bedroom for a period of time and, and he talked to you out in the living room, right? Yeah. Again, just to remind us, what kind of things was he saying to you out in the living room? That, that he was saying that I did a good job and that he was proud of me. Okay. How long were you in the living room about? About five minutes, five, ten. And then after you're in the living room, where did you go? Back in there. Okay. And tell me, and think, think about the video in your head, okay? You went back in the bedroom and go through what happened again. We went in there, we tied her up, and he stabbed her, and he told me to cut her throat and cut her hair off, and then when we were done like that, we took off the handcuffs. And we took her outside to the jeep, stuck her in the back. He said he would rather burn her than stick her back in there. And we put her on the floor and then he shot her ten times. And he threw her in the fire. Okay, well, there's some points that we're going to go over there in that, okay? In the, uh, while in the bedroom. And he had you cut the hair off, you said, right? Mm-hmm. Where did you put the hair? On the dresser. Again, tell us why he wanted you to do that. Oh. What happened to the hair after? I never touched it. Do you know where it went? No. Has he ever told you what he did with that hair? No. Brandon, you sure? Yeah. Do you have any of that hair at home? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Because you know we'll find it if you do. That would not be good for you. If we find your line or find things that you don't tell us about, I can't believe you then. If you tell me that you're sorry this happened, then I won't believe you. If I don't you tell got me, none of the hair. Pardon? I don't got none of the hair. You got none of the hair. Did you get any blood on you? No. Okay. So you tie her up, and you told us before you think she's dead at this time, and you guys, you and Steven, carry her out that back door and into the garage. 
when you're in the garage, where do you place her immediately? In the Jeep. Right into the Jeep, or did you set her on the floor, or? Right in the Jeep. Right into the Jeep. How does Stephen get the rifle? When he set her down, when we set her on, on the ground, he went in the house and grabbed it. Was it a rifle or was it a handgun? It was a rifle. And where did he find that rifle, do you know? In his, his bedroom. Where was it in the bedroom? Hanging on the wall. What wall? Like, where the door is, there's like a, like a gun rack up there. Okay, in relation to his bed, where would it be? Like, on the left side wall. So if I'm laying in his bed, where is the, where are these, where is his gun? Like, say like this was his bedroom and his bed was like right here, it would be on that wall. Let's say his bed is your bed, or his bed there, the couch. Yeah. And you're sleeping what way? You'd be, you fa your feet would face that way. Oh. And it, the guns would be right on that side. If I asked you to draw me a few pictures, do you think you could do that? Yeah. As to what it... The bedroom, if you could put things in the bedroom and then like put her on the bed how she was, could you do that? Yeah. Okay. Is that a point? Yeah, get some All right. paper yeah. probably. Come around, grab some papers, okay? All right. Get a some clipboard right. or something. Yeah.
Should we draw some pictures? Is that okay? Or do you want some things we'll we'll to talk about? Okay. We'll get to the pictures. All right. That's all right. That's fine. Um, Brendan, when you guys got her into the, the garage, you said that you placed her right into the back of the, the her vehicle, right? Yeah. And then he said that he, how did it come about that he wanted to do what he wanted to do? Tell me that. He told me that he was going to throw her in uh, the pond. And he said that he would rather burn her because it's a lot faster to get rid of the, all the evidence. And earlier you said that the fire was going on at this time? Mm-hmm. Mark and I have a little trouble understanding why he's got this big fire going if he was actually talking about putting her into the pond. Because that night, me and Blaine were going to invite some friends over for a bonfire, and he was probably getting it ready. And then that day, I got a call from Travis that said that he couldn't come, and Blaine got a call from his friend that, he, that they couldn't come. Are you telling me that it wasn't until you guys were in the garage that he said that he was going to burn her? Yeah. And you're sure that, are you sure about that? Uh-huh. Okay. Then you said that you took her out of the, the back of the, um, her vehicle. Did you help him do that? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And then you said that he went and got the, a gun, right? Yeah. And he came back in. What did he do? He shot her ten times. Tell me where he shot her. Like in the head and so in the belly and the uh, stomach. How many times did he shoot her in the head? Like three times. Tell me where in the head. What sides? Like the left side, I think it was. The left side of her head. And the when he shot her in the body, where in the body again? Like right here. Okay. What was he saying when he was doing this, if anything? What was his demeanor? Was he calm? Was he what was he doing? He was calm. What was he saying to you? That he, he was sorry for me to see that stuff. Did he ask you to shoot her too, or did he tell you to shoot her? No. You sure about that? Yeah. When you got home from school, do you remember if a fire was going then? Uh, I didn't look. When you knocked on the door to go in, was the fire going then? Yeah. Okay. When you knocked on the door to go into Steven's trailer, was it still light out? Yeah. Okay. You mentioned then you took her, her bag out, you shot her. Did anything else happen in this garage that, that is noteworthy? Remember, we, we've seen the garage, we've got the evidence from the garage. Um, did you guys do anything else to her on the garage? No. Anything with ropes or bindings or anything like that? No. You took her out to the fire, and you're sure you used this creeper thing, right? Yeah. That's what you said. Did you carry her on that creeper thing, or did you actually push it out there, you guys? Do you know what I mean? 
uh, you could put someone on and you could actually carry that thing or did you actually roll it? We carried it. Okay. Kind of, what would that be similar to? Kind of like a, um, do you know what I'm thinking of? The thing at the ambulance? Yeah. So you carried it like that? Yeah. And was she still unclothed at that time? Yeah. Okay. What time was that? Oh, 5.30. Was it light out or dark out? Light. And then you put her on the fire, you said, and you put other stuff over that, over her, you said. Yeah. Did you help Stephen start that fire? No. Are you telling us the truth? Yes. Is it at this time that, what do you do after you put her on, her, on the fire? We put the tires on there and the branches. Where'd that stuff come from? He had it there already. He did. Okay, now the fire's going, she's on there, tell, tell, them, tell me what you're, gonna, what you're doing now or what you guys do. I mean, it's only 5.30 right now, what are you guys doing? After we put the tires and the branches on, we went to the house and went in there for a little bit. And we went out and he was going to take the Jeep down in the pit. So he did. And that's when we covered it with branches and the hood. Did you guys go out by the fire some more that night? No. Where did this, this car seat come from? We got that. Tell me how you guys got that. I went over to my house and got the, the golf cart and got, he went to go pick them up. And we went over to get the car seat. We put it by the fire and waited for it to burn down. And we threw it on there. And we went to go do the Jeep. Okay, so you you went and got this car seat. Did you get anything else with the, when you had the, the golf cart? Well, old cabinet. An old, where'd you get that from? From in the back of our garage. Whose this garage? Ours. Because we were using it to put it in the garage. Anything else that you went and gathered up with the golf cart? Just the tires and the wood. And the seat and the... Okay, so you, you, you got more tires? Yeah. And more wood? Mm -hmm. And what did you do with all that stuff? We put it in the fire. Okay. Last night you mentioned, or Monday you mentioned, um, Stephen getting some other things out of the garage. What were those things again? The clothes. Well, I mean, some things that you might use to... Oh, the shovel and the rake. Right. Did he get anything else like that out of the garage? No, just them two. And what did he use those for? To, like pile so he can get it smooth so he can fit the, the rest of the stuff in there. Did you help him with that? Did you use the rake and the shovel at all? No. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Tell me again what he was doing with the rake. He was like pushing the stuff around so he can put more stuff on it so it's even. Show me what he was doing. You showed me the other day. Like one like this. like that. What kind of stuff was he pushing around? Like the wood in that. Was he pushing her around at all? Uh-uh. Wood that was on the top in the cabinet. Okay. Were you able to see her in the fire? Just the forehead and the hands and the feet and a little bit of belly. Okay. 
sometime during that evening, um, did someone come down to Stephen's trailer or in that area? No. You don't remember seeing, do you remember seeing anyone come down there and, and, and talk to Stephen for a bit? No. Do you know if anyone else saw anything? No. How much time did you think it took from when you cut her on the neck to the time you guys got her out in the garage? About 10 minutes. After after fire was in and she was put in the fire, what time did you go home to your place that night? About 9.30. Did you come back out at all that night? Uh-uh. Was Steven out there when you went home? Yeah. Because he said he was going to watch the fire until it burnt down a little bit more. What did you guys do with Teresa's body after that, after it was burned? I don't know. I didn't, I didn't do nothing with it. Did Stephen do anything with it? Yeah, but I don't know what. How do you, what do you mean by yes, but you don't know what? Like he tried to bury it or something. How'd he do that? With the shovel. Did he take some of her body out of that fire pit? Yeah. He did. How, tell me how he did that. Like when the bones were left behind, he would like try to take the shovel and try to break the bones apart. And he would bury them, like right by the fire almost. What do you mean he'd bury them right by the fire? Like he dug a hole and he put the bones in there and he buried it. Where in relation to the fire? Like two or three feet away. Which way from the fire? Like towards the garage. Okay. Did you see him do that? I just heard that. Heard it from? Who? Him. Oh. So he told you that he used the shuttle to break up bones? Yeah. And then buried some of the bones? Did he take some of her bones some anywhere else? On the other side of the, like that, there was like, in the back of the yard, there was like this steep hill there, like in the pit. There was some there that he threw there. Okay, we're gonna in a little bit. We're gonna have you draw some sketches and stuff, and we're gonna we're gonna want to see these places. How do you know that there were some bones there? He told me that he threw some there. Did he tell you how he did that? He had them in a bucket. And what I'm understanding is then, in the back of both your yards or his yards, down toward into the pit over that area. In like Redon's pit. Over oh, Redon's pit. Not into your, um, the salvage yard area. <coughs> you think you'll be able to show us that? Yeah. Anything else that he did with the bones that he told you or that you helped him do? Did you help him do any of this? No. Did he have any more fires that week? Not that I know of. We talked about Monday night about um, bad smells and stuff. Do you remember any smells coming from that fire after she was put on there? Just that it smelled bad. You remember that? 
Did Steve call Chuck that night? Do you recall? I don't know. Did Steve make any other phone calls? I know I asked this once before, but... No. Or tell you about making any other phone calls? You just said someone called him. Okay. What was Steve wearing when you first got to his house? A white shirt and red shorts. You told us before that Jody called a couple times, right? Mm -hmm. What were you doing when Jody called? Sitting on the couch watching TV. What was Steve doing? Sitting on the computer chair. Was that before or after you had sex with Teresa? After. Was Teresa still alive when Jody called? No. No? So Jody calls, you had already killed Teresa. Is that correct? Yeah. Do you remember what time Jody called about? Mm -mm. Why did you guys cut her hair? I don't know. Did Steve ever say why he wanted to do that? No. Do you know if he kept any of it? I don't know. Where was her underwear? I don't know. Brendan, it's important. You're being honest so far. You need to be honest all the way through here, okay? I don't know where they are. You don't know where the underwear are? And if do you have it, if it, you do, it's okay. We understand that. I don't got it. Did Steve have it? I don't know. Do you think he might have kept it? Yeah. Why do you think that? Did he tell you that? No. You said that you had cut her throat. Here's the thing, Brendan. When you cut somebody's throat, they bleed a lot, okay? Am I right? Yeah. She bled a lot? So I know you had blood on you. It was pretty much impossible not to. Did you have blood on you? No. None at all? Uh-uh. What about when you moved her? No. What were you wearing at the time? Them pants and... a jacket. What jacket? My old blue one. Your old blue jacket? What, does it say anything on it? It had uh, the fire tux symbol on it. Fire tux symbol? Mm hmm Where's that jacket now? Probably in the closet when you walk in the house, behind the door. What are you wearing for a shirt? I don't remember. What kind of shoes? My, my old red ones. Were they tennis shoes or what? They're just like these, but they're red. Okay, do you remember what kind they No. You don't know a brand name? Uh, Nike or Adidas, something like that? You don't no. Know? Okay. <clears throat> I think they're starter. You think they're what? Starters. Starters, okay. When this is all going on, did Steve say anything about Teresa? No. You told us two days ago that Steve was angry. Was that true? No. So Steve was not angry? So why do you think he did this to Teresa? Maybe because he wanted to go back to jail. Did he ever tell you that? No, that's what I was thinking. Because maybe he liked it in there, and the real world was probably too noisy for him, or too too big for him or something. Okay. In the garage, in Steve's garage, there were some wires hanging from the rafters. You remember those? Yeah. Did you guys use those for anything? No. Are you being honest with me now? 
Yeah. It's very important to be honest here. Did you ever use those for anything? No. Did you use anything else on Teresa other than rope? No. Okay. Want to draw me a few pictures? Okay. Brendan, when she was on the bed, was there a lot of blood? Yeah. Do you recall when the sheets were taken off the bed and stuff that the blood had soaked through to the mattress pad at all? Or mattress? Oh. Uh, you don't know? Did you see or not? No. You sure that she wasn't taken out to the garage alive and some of this stuff was done to her out there? No. Oh. Hanging from a raft or anything like that? Mm -hmm. The worst is over. You're not going to shock us or anything by telling us if that happened. Because I, I just have a feeling that something may, may be there. Talk to me. Nothing happened in there. It all happened in the bedroom, you said. You're positive of that. Yeah. You keep in mind that, you know, Stephen's going to have his time to tell his story too, right? Yeah. He's not going to say anything different? Uh -uh. Did you turn the mattress over or anything like that? No. Cleaning of the house, uh, Brenda. Did, did uh, Stephen do some cleaning in the house? I don't know that. You know, you know what I mean by cleaning in the house, right? Yeah. Did he vacuum? Not when I was there. He didn't. Did he wipe anything down? Not that at all. Did he do any laundry? Did he wash some clothes? Oh. What, what about the knife? Where is the knife? Be honest with me, where's the knife? It's okay. We need to get that, okay? Help us out. Where's the knife? Probably in the drawer. In which drawer? His knife drawer. And where's that? In the kitchen. Is it probably in there, or do you know it's in there? That's where I think it is. Why do you think it's in there? Because he wouldn't let the knife go. Because he wouldn't let the knife go? How do you know that? Because it was a pretty nice knife. Did he tell you that? Did he wash it off or anything, or wipe it off, or what did he do with the knife? He wiped it off. What did he use to do that with? Paper towel. And what happened to the paper towel? He burnt it. Can you describe the knife for us? Well, it was like that long. Okay. Big head on it, like that. Big head on it? What kind of, I mean, was it like a, a steak knife or like something you'd use for a deer? Something like that, like a deer. Okay, what color was the handle? Black. Black. And it was a, could you draw that? Do you think you could draw the knife? Yeah. Why don't you do that? Draw me the knife. Thank you. Okay, the handle was just like this? Yeah. And this was black? Mm-hmm. Okay. Why don't you sign your name for that? The whole thing? Sure. Actually, write it. Okay. Um, we'll put the date on there, too. It's one... Correction. Three, one, oh, three. Um, oh, six. I'm, I'm all mixed up with dates today, aren't I? <laughs> Um, the time is uh, 1.44 p.m. Okay. I'm going to ask you, if you, would you be willing to draw the bedroom out for us? Mm -hmm. okay. If you saw the knife again, would you be able to identify it? Yeah. All right. I'll draw out the bedroom. Put the bed on there and show me where the dresser and everything was, the best that you can, where the door was and all that. 
Anything else unique about that knife? No. Draw her on the bed. Should I draw the pillows? Mm-hmm. You can do a stick person, that's fine. And how she was laying on there. things are in the bedroom. Draw what else was in there. Okay. Anything else you remember? And that's a closet and that's a dresser. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? And like the button. The gun holder thing was like right here on the wall. Okay. Why don't you label that? Gun rack, maybe, or? How do you spell rack? R A C K. Okay. Anything else? Um, where was the key? Where did you put the key? Or where did Steven put the key? In the middle of the drawer. Okay. Why don't you put key there? Anything else you remember in there? Well, I think there was like a nightstand right there. Oh. Okay, why don't you draw that in? With a lamp on it. Okay, why don't you label that? Okay, um, anything else? Where'd you put her hair? Like right here. Okay, why don't you label that? How much hair do you think you cut off of her? Oh, three inches. Three inches? What part of, the, of her hair? The back. Okay. Anything else in there? Okay, why don't you sign it? Sign your name. draw would be the, um, the garage. Okay. Why don't you draw the garage out? Okay, where's the big door? Right here. Okay. You want to label that? Is there a small entry door in there? Casings were? Uh -uh. Okay. 
why don't you label some other things in there? Like, uh, what else was in that garage? snowmobile anywhere in there? Yeah, that was one here. Okay, I'll label that. Brendan, I don't know if we asked you, the gun was, you said it was a 22, but was that a single shot or what type of gun was it, do you remember? Yeah, single. It was a single shot, not a semi-automatic? Yeah. Why don't you draw where the blood stains would have been? Like right here. About and what did those blood stains come from? Like when she was laying there, or yeah, when she was laying there. Do you know did he when he shot her? You said how many times? Ten. Do you know did he hit her every time? Oh. Did he hit anything else in the garage at all? Uh -uh. Where was he standing when he shot her? Right here. Why don't you put an X there and put his initials there? And where were you standing? Right over here. Okay, put your initials there. Was there blood anywhere else? No. What about behind the vehicle or anything like that? No? No. Okay. Alright, why don't you sign it? So let's, let's try that. Get it back to you. So like, should I draw like the garage right there a little bit? Just yeah, put a little bit of the garage in. fire pit been there? About four or five months. Okay. And where did you put her body? Right did you draw it in there? Okay. Um, was there, was the dog there yet at that time? Yeah, the, the dog was like right over here. Put a, draw the dog hops in, where the dog hops is. You can label that too. And why don't you label what that was? How do you spell garage? G-A-R-A-G-E. Okay, um, where did you get the brush from? From the field. Okay. You said that he had taken some bones and put them in a five-gallon pail and he dumped them. Uh -huh. Where would that be? Which way? Probably his house would like be a little bit right here. Mm -hmm. It would be like over here somewhere. Okay. Did you actually see him do that? Uh -huh. How do you know he did that? He told me that he put them in a bucket and he pulled through them over there. Okay. Okay. Anything else you want to add in there? Okay, why don't you sign that? Well, when we got the seat, we put it like, we set it down like right here. Did you sit there and watch the fire burn or anything? Yeah. Or we just set it there? Brendan, we've got a few more questions to cover here. A little bit worse is over as far as um, the questions. Can you describe Stephen's house for me? The color and stuff like that. It's like a red. And the top is like silver. And the bottom is like cement. 
Okay. And where's his house located in relation to, say, your house? Probably how far away from ours? How far away, what direction, if you know? I don't know what direction, but it's about like... About 350 feet away. Okay. If you come out your front door, that you can't get into now because it's not shoveled, what direction would it be? Left, right, straight, back? Left. To the left. Okay. And then his garage, how would you describe his garage? The same red and the top was black. Okay, and how many garage doors are on it? One. And big garage doors. There's only one big one and one small one. Okay. And there's like three windows. Okay. Any of those windows facing your house? Just one. Okay, and then the location, and I know you drew it here, so it's pretty obvious, but the location of the burn pit is, is where? In relation to the garage and his house, etc. In, like where you used to park his car, like the burn pit, where you were on oh, the burn pit. Yeah, what you drew here. Where is that in relation to the garage? Straight back from my garage, like in the back of the, by the window. Okay. Um, we've got that. We we've got the gun. Now, is there any reason that your DNA or fingerprints would be on that gun? Uh-uh. I never touched it. Can you tell me why, if Teresa was, was dead when she was in the garage, why you would shoot or why you would shoot a dead body? I don't know. Probably to make sure she's dead or something. Did he say anything of why he shot her? No. You're just saying, your your guess is that to make sure she was dead? Yeah. You're sure he didn't say anything? Uh -uh. Was he pretty calm about this? Yeah. I'm just going to revisit one thing when you're in the bedroom and, in, and you cut her throat. Previously you said that you thought she was alive. Is that still your thought on that? Yeah. And why was that? Because she was breathing a little bit. She was like trying to, not trying to breathe as hard as she could from screaming, screaming a lot. She was screaming a lot or wasn't? She was. When you cut her throat, was she screaming? Uh-uh. Oh. When you, you cut, cut her throat? Because when you scream a lot, you like, your, your breathing goes up or something. Well, explain that a little bit. You said she was screaming a lot. When was she screaming a lot? Like... While you were doing it? After you did it? Before you did it? Before. When you cut her throat, what was she doing, if anything? Like, screaming for help and crying. I want to get that straight. She was screaming for help and crying when you cut her throat? Yeah. When did Stephen choke her or strangle her? Like a little bit after that. Well, let's, let's just go back a little bit, okay? Tell us what exactly happened to her, what order it happened in. You said there were basically three things prior to you guys shooting her. Explain those in, in the order that it happened. Starting with when we got in the room. Okay. Yeah, what what you guys did to her. We had sex with her. Okay. Then he stabbed her. And who stabbed her? He did. Who's he? Steven. Okay. And then what? Then I cut her throat. Okay. And he choked her and I cut off her hair. 
Okay. So he choked her after you cut her throat. Mm-hmm. You gotta show me, like, on your throat where you cut her. Like right here. How deep? Just as long as the knife went through. Okay. With your fingers, show me how deep you went into her throat. I don't go like that much. So, I mean, like, like this, like that, like that, oh, like that, like that, about that far. When Stephen stabbed her, tell me again where he stabbed her. Like right here. How far into the knife go? Again, with your hands, if you can. Oh, like that. And then he, tell me how he choked her. Where was he when he choked her? On the side of the bed. On the side of the bed? With your hand, show me what, pretend that her neck is there or whatever. Show me how he did it. Like this. How long? Oh, two or three minutes. He must have had a lot of blood on his hands then, huh? How did he get that off his hands? Washing it off. Where? In the sink. Which sink? In the bathroom. Did he wipe any blood up with anything? Just that paper towel that he dried his hands with. After you cut her throat, was she still alive? Barely. And how do you know that? Because she was breathing like a little bit. When do you think she quit breathing? When we were bringing her outside. Outside? What do you mean outside where? Out in the garage. How do you know she quit breathing then? Because her belly wasn't moving. Because her belly wasn't moving? Okay. You talked about getting a car seat in a cabinet. Whose idea was that? His. When you went and got it and put it by the fire, did you throw it on the fire when it was time to throw it on the fire? Mm-hmm. With, he, he helped. Pardon? He helped me throw it on there. The car seat? Mm-hmm. Who threw the cabinet on the fire? He did. Did you throw anything on the fire? Just that wood that we found. In the, in the um, salvage yard, there is a skidster. You know what that is? Uh, it's a flat tire hole. Not the crusher, but a oh. skidster. It's a it's like a little tractor thing that has a bucket or forks on the front of it. Oh yeah. You know where that you know what that is? Yeah. Did you guys or Stephen use that at all? Uh. Uh-uh. Did Stephen use that to uh, dig his fire pit? Do you know? No, I don't know that. I got a hard... Oh, go ahead. Okay. Did you go up north with everybody after you guys couldn't come back to your house? Uh Uh-huh. Did you and Steve talk about this up north? Stephen acting when you got up north? Like he was trying to run away, trying to trying to figure out when how to get away from the cops. Did he ever ask you to go with him? No. Did he ever make any threats to you? No. Did he tell you anything about this as far as what did he tell you after this? He didn't tell me nothing. He was just trying to leave. Okay. And Grandpa said that if you you if you're gonna try to leave, then it means you did it. Okay. So he sat back down. Anyone else in the family up north say anything to him like that or about that type of stuff? Uh-uh. You said. Um, I've got some tough questions for you, okay? 
uh, but just be honest. I need you to, to the best of your memory, describe Teresa's body to me. Like before we put her in there, in the fire? Yes. Like, when she was alive. Did she have any scars, marks, tattoos, stuff like that that you can remember? I don't remember any tattoos. Any scars you remember? Not that I've seen. Did she have pubic hair? Yeah. Do you remember what color her hair was? Brown. Do you remember her breasts? Were they, were they, did she have big breasts, small breasts? Medium. Medium, anything peculiar about her breasts? No. Do you uh, remember what color eyes she had or anything like that? Mm -mm. Any piercings, any jewelry on her? No. Do you remember any jewelry, earrings, anything like that? No. Watch? had a, a tattoo on her stomach. Do you remember that? Uh-uh. Do you disagree with me when I say that? No, but I don't know what it was. Okay. Had you ever seen Teresa before that day? Uh-uh. I just got my ending, which is probably maybe similar. I don't probably. Know. Um, Brendan, how do you feel about this now? Really sad. Tell me why you feel really sad. That I helped them and I shouldn't go and Sorry for her family that she lost her daughter. How does Steven feel about this after? Do you know? Mm -hmm. If you could change things, what would you change? I would have probably tried to stop them. Stephen, or Stephen, Brendan, look at me. Well, why did you do this? Why did you do your part of it? I don't know. Give me the opportunity to tell me why you did this. for this? I wanted to see how it felt. See how what felt? Sex. During this whole thing, did you ever think about trying to stop Steven? Yeah. Why didn't you? I thought he would try to, like, try to kill me. Mark just asked you a little while ago if he ever threatened you. Now, earlier you had said, Monday you talked about something like that, and now you said no. What's the truth? 
he didn't threaten me. I just thought that he was, he could have, uh, because he's bigger than me, that he could probably beat me up in that. So are you telling us now that he never threatened you? No. And are you admitting to us that you had told us that Monday? No. Yeah. But now you're saying that didn't happen. Did Steve say anything else to you, offer you anything for doing this or keeping your mouth shut or anything like that? No. Did he tell you anything about saying anything about this to anyone? He just let you go into the, the bed that night and didn't say anything to you like about this? Mm -mm. Do you ever think about calling the police? Sometime. Yeah? Do you ever think about us coming over to talk with you? Do you worry about that at all? Yeah. I was scared the first time I had to go when I was up north talking to people. Mm -hmm. I was sweating a lot. Had Steven told you some things to tell, to say to the police? He just told me not to say anything that, uh, that his lawyer said not to say anything. If Steven tells us that you did all of this, that it was you that started it and, and that killed her and stuff, is that true? No. Forget your Pepsi down there. We're gonna step out for a couple more minutes, okay? Do you need to use the restroom? Uh -uh. Do you want something to eat? It don't matter. How about it a looks sandwich? Like you're a little hungry. Should we get you a sandwich? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. 